Hi, I'm Joshua Andrews, and if you're like me, you hate stale data. If only there was some way to get around stale data, some kind of device. Well, you're in luck. I happen to have a patent-pending vacuum data storage device, $49.99. Now, the less guttable along you might be asking yourselves, Joshua, isn't there an easier way of doing this? Isn't there a way of doing this that has something to do with programming? Aren't you clearly a fraud? Well, yes, yes, and no, allegedly. Alright, so what exactly is stale data? Well, when a field is dependent on other data, and the field is not updated when the other data changes, that field is said to become stale. For example, we have the circle class. The circle class has an instance field that holds the radius, but, and has a method that returns the area. Notice, however, that there is no variable for holding the area. In this case, we have a method that calculates the area every time it's called, getArea, and returns the value. So why not define an instance field to store the area? Well, the problem is the area is not stored in a field because it could potentially become stale. Area is dependent on the value of radius. So when the radius changes, the area becomes incorrect. Originally, the radius could be set to 1, which would make the area 3.14. But if later you change the value of radius and you don't update area, area is now wrong because it stays 3.14. This is what's called stale data. When defining a class, don't store data in a field that can be calculated. Instead, provide a method that returns the result of the calculation. Now, after learning all that, I'm sure you're wondering, how will I remember? How will I actually apply what I've learned here today, like some sort of learning thing, youngster, I don't know. Thankfully, you don't have to, thanks to the Joshua Andrews Patent Pending Storage Vacuum Device. That's a foreman grill. Sh sh shut up.